In the previous lesson, we learned about the basic speeds as defined by the manufacturer. In this lesson, we will clarify the concepts of aircraft weight. A fundamental parameter on which the aircraft performance depends on is the weight of the aircraft. Understanding the basic concepts is important for any professional aviator. Firstly, the basic weight. This is the weight of the aircraft immediately on its manufacturer. It has been fitted with all equipment including the engines. This is also referred to as the tear weight. This weight works as a frame of reference when comparing different aircraft. However, this weight is not much significant operationally. An operationally useful parameter is the dry operating weight of the aircraft. This is the weight where the aircraft is ready to operate state. The weight of the unusable fuel, aircraft equipment such as life rafts, fire extinguishers, the weight of the crew and engine oil and hydraulic oil, water etc. has been loaded. That is to say, the aircraft is ready to operate except the payload and the fuel. This is the basic weight from which all calculations for load and trim sheet which is prepared before the flight to determine the position of center of gravity and the moments thereof is done. We will learn about load and trim in another lesson. Now, let me introduce to you the important parameter, the maximum takeoff weight, also called the structure limit weight. As the name suggests, this is the weight which is limited by the design factors, the strength of the airframe, the strength of the undercarriage, etc. This is defined by the manufacturer. In no case the take of weight can exceed this defined weight. There could be other factors that will limit the takeoff weight. We will learn about these in another lesson. This is often referred to as the MTOW. Next, is another important parameter, the maximum zero fuel weight. When the aircraft is loaded, they could be passengers and, or load, this is the zero fuel weight. That is, the weight of the aircraft without the fuel. Let us understand, that when the aircraft is loaded, the weight acts as a downward force passing through the fuselage of the aircraft. This has to be balanced by the lift generated by the wings. The force on the wings is in the upward direction. Contrary to this, if the wings contain fuel, the downward and the upward force will act almost in the same line through the wings. How does this limit the weight? When the upward lift is produced to balance the weight of the aircraft, the wing tends to bend upwards. This results in upward bending moment at the wing root of the aircraft. Thus heavier the payload, the more is the wing bending moments at the wing roots. Thus, there is a limit to the maximum payload that can be lifted. This is the limit of the maximum zero fuel weight, termed as MCFW. This also sets the maximum payload that can be uplifted, another parameter that is used to compare performance of different types of aircraft. We can well define, the maximum zero fuel weight of the aircraft is the basic operating weight plus the payload. Have a good look at the graphic representation. Once the aircraft is loaded with payload, the next is the weight of the fuel. Usually the maximum quantity of fuel is limited by the capacity of the fuel tanks of the aircraft. Otherwise, the quantity of fuel to be uplifted for the flight will depend on several factors that have been defined by regulation.
structural tank of weight, there is a limit to the maximum landing weight of the aircraft. It is limited for similar reasons that we discussed earlier. The landing weight could be limited by other factors such as the runway length and the ambient conditions. Many medium performance aircraft do not have such a limitation. However, high performance aircraft usually define a maximum landing weight. It is referred to as MLW. Just to summarize, the maximum takeoff and landing weight of aircraft could be limited by several other factors. Thus limited weights are called the regulated weights. We shall learn about these in detail in the following lessons. Now, it is time to do some numerical examples. Let us assume an aircraft with the following operating details. MTOW, 70 tons. Dry operating weight, 45 tons. Max zero fuel weight, 60 tons. Max landing weight, 65 tons. Max fuel capacity, 12 tons. Average fuel consumption is 1 ton per hour per engine, 2 tons per hour. The procedure is as follows. Firstly, calculate the MTOW or the RTOW. Just to remind you the RTOW will be calculated from the performance graphs of the aircraft. Next, take the zero fuel weight. Add the total fuel on board. This will be the ZFW, restricted takeoff weight. Next, take the max landing weight. To this, add the fuel used during the flight. This would have been the takeoff weight that is restricted by the MLW. Take the least figure of the three. This will be the takeoff weight that is possible. This will also satisfy all the other restrictions. Of course, if you add the taxi fuel, this will give you the ramp weight. Let us work out an example. For the aircraft previously quoted, if the flight time from it to B is 3 hours, and if the reserve fuel required is 3 tons, what is the takeoff weight and the payload? Let us proceed. Fuel required for the flight is 9 tons, that is, flight fuel of 6 tons plus reserve fuel of 3 tons. Firstly, the max takeoff weight is 70 tons. Zero fuel weight is 60 tons. Fuel on board is 9 tons. Therefore, the ZFW restricted takeoff weight is 69 tons. Next, max landing weight is 65 tons. Plus fuel used is 6 tons. The takeoff weight is 71 tons. We find that the least is restricted by the zero fuel weight. Thus, the max takeoff weight possible is 69 tons. Therefore, the payload is 69 tons minus fuel on board minus the dry operating weight is 15 tons. work out another example. For the same aircraft, the flight time is 4 hours, reserve fuel required is 3 tons. From the performance graphs, the RTOW is restricted to 67 tons due to short runway length. Find out the payload and takeoff weight. Let us find the minimum fuel required. That is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 equals 11 tons of fuel. Let us proceed. The RTOW is 67 tons. The ZFW restricted takeoff weight is 60 plus 11 equals 71 tons. The max landing weight restricted takeoff weight is 65 plus fuel used equals 73 tons. The least is 67 tons. Thus the payload is 11 tons.
thank you.